Hey everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at home information displays. There are tons of videos online detailing exactly how you do this. I wanted to do more of a high level look at the two that I was looking into. A lot of people use Raspberry Pi, and that's also what I'm using, but there's two kind of main ways that you can split off on the software. You can do one that's called Magic Mirror, which is a little more coding intensive, and you have to know kind of what you're doing with the Raspberry Pi. And there's another option that I'm displaying here, which is called DAC Board. Now, just to be upfront, this is not a sponsored video. I did not receive anything from DAC Board, but I am using their display just to get up and running. So I got the Raspberry Pi and I installed DAC Board. It was incredibly easy. They have a lot of different options out there for you. You can either buy a display ready to go from them. You can buy just a computer unit from them to plug into any display that you have, or you can buy a micro USB that'll plug into a Raspberry Pi, and then that will also, it's just plug and play, and that will work. The other option is to install the DAC board software onto your Raspberry Pi yourself, which is what I did. Now I am using a 30 day free trial from DAC board to display this information. And during that 30 days, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with Magic Mirror, which is the other software open source and it has just tons of things that you can customize and do. And you can add way more information onto the display than what I have displayed here. So during this 30 day trial period, I'm gonna to try to learn as much about Magic Mirror as I can, and then eventually move over to that. To get up and running, I just decided to install DAC board because it was easy. The user interface is incredibly easy. You can see here, I have my calendar displayed. I have my local weather displayed here as well. I've got the time and the date. I've got a countdown to Christmas. I have a list view of the things coming up on my calendar. Um, I've also imported all of my eye calendars. So I have a, a shared family calendar with my wife, which is displaying in blue here, as well as some other calendars that I've pulled in. You can see down here, I've got some stock quotes. I've also got uh, Google Maps pulling in the commute to work for me. So right now it's saying it would take 24 minutes for me to get to work. I have my smart home information pulled in here as far as what lights are on and what lights are off. And then at the top right, I have an Ecobee thermostat and I have the Ecobee information pulled into the top right. It also works with Nest. So if you're not incredibly tech savvy or have no desire really to get into Raspberry Pi at all, I suggest looking into the DAC board options because they really do seem to be great. They have a free version display that you can use. It doesn't come with very much information. The display that you see here would cost about $4 a month from DAC board. Like I said, I'm using the 30 day trial. I do not have any intent to actually stick with DAC board and pay that money because I wanna get a little more into the nitty gritty and customize the display myself. But I did wanna show you DAC board because I really do think it's awesome and I think it'll be a great solution for a lot of people out there. The interface on their website is extremely user friendly, very easy to use. They also have a forum that shows you and walks you through DIY and how to do a Raspberry Pi if you don't buy anything from them. And that's what I did and it worked really well and was very easy. If you have a Raspberry Pi but don't want to get into that, then you can just buy the micro SD card from them for about $16 and then you can pop that in and everything will just work for you. Or if you have no desire at all whatsoever to get into Raspberry Pi, then you can actually buy a little computer that they sell that is totally self-contained, no coding required or anything like that. You can set it up and use it with any display that you have, or you can go ahead and just buy a display directly from them as well. I will say, don't be scared by using Raspberry Pi on your own to get this up and running. It's as easy as a few lines of code, and you just plug in the URL that gets you to this site, and that's pretty much it. The few lines of code basically say, Hey, monitor and computer, when you come on, we want you to open Chromium, which is the browser. We want you to navigate to this page, and then we want you to turn the mouse off so that we don't see the mouse, and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty easy, especially if you have some background in it, or if you just wanna learn, I think it's a good entry level into seeing what the Raspberry Pi can do. It's very simple, and 
Dackboard has some great guides to walk you through it. If you have a Raspberry Pi and you said, hey, this wasn't really my thing, then I highly suggest just getting that micro SD card, popping it in, and then you can work from there. If you have no desire to do Raspberry Pi or anything like that, but you would like an information display in your house, then I'll recommend the little black box that they have, and then you can use any display that you already have. I think that is a great option for some people. Or if you just wanna have everything already set up, ready to go, they sell a display as well. You can put it in portrait or landscape as well. So like I said, I'm gonna use this for the 30 days while I continue with Magic Mirror. And I think eventually I will either use this display or another display and actually put it behind a mirror. I'll have to talk to my wife to see kind of what we decide upon. I don't think I like this just sitting out on the counter. I think I would like to have it hidden behind a mirror so that when it's off, you don't see anything, it's just a mirror. And then maybe have it come on in the morning as we're getting ready or eating breakfast in the kitchen so that we can see our information here. There also are ways to schedule on and off for the display. So you can have it only come on during certain times and then it'll turn off on other times. You can also set up timings of different things that display on here. So if I only care about my route to work in the morning, then I can have that come on, you know, let's say 4.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. So it's, I'm only gonna see that in the morning. There's tons of customizability that you can have using Dackboard. I think it's a great solution, very user-friendly. So I will have more videos coming in the future as far as kind of delving into Magic Mirror a little bit and seeing how I can get things set up there, as well as probably making my own mirror to put the display inside and maybe even getting a different display to do that because this one's rather large. So we'll see how that goes, but there will be more videos coming on this information display. Hope you enjoyed this video showing you my home information display and I hope you learned something or maybe are thinking about doing something on your own either with Raspberry Pi and doing Magic Mirror or going the easier route with the DAC board like I did to start off. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we'll see you next time.